All right, so welcome to part three of my Halloween hologram projector project. As you can see in front of us, we have the projector screen that we built out in parts one and two of this series. And I have that staked into the lawn securely so that it should not tip over in the wind. And behind it here, I have our portable projector that we've been using plugged into a portable power station, which is gonna give me the flexibility to readjust and place this projector anywhere in the yard that makes sense. So now all we have to do is wait for darkness and see how well the setup works at night. All right, the sun's starting to go down, getting a little bit spooky outside. So let's uh, start setting things up, see how this goes. That looks centered enough for now. So I think on Halloween night, what I'll do is also connect uh, an external speaker close to where the trick-or-treaters are gonna be so they can hear the sound a little bit better. But as it's getting darker outside, this is starting to look pretty good. So right now it's about 7.30 and this isn't quite as bright as I was hoping for coming out of the eight-man projector. So next we're gonna try swapping with a Cronova projector, which is a little bit larger and more expensive to see if we can get a little bit of a brighter hologram appearing at night here. So here's the Cronova and uh, oh my God, yeah, that's a quite a big difference in brightness. So let's give this a shot and see how this looks. Except I can't see anything at night. <laughs> All right, so now instead of using the Ape Man projector, I'm using the Cronova XPE 660 projector, which is a bigger projector, more expensive, but also you get a lot more light output as you can see here. And this is much better. You can see this much further away in the street, even with some light pollution out here. And, uh, and this is looking pretty good. All right, so for next steps, what I think I'm gonna do is spray paint this black outer trim here so that it disappears into the night and uh, help the illusion here. Probably gonna go with a matte black or like a dark blue or something that should hide in the nighttime. And then I'm gonna set up some of my other projected decorations like my uh, pumpkins, like these guys are wearing on their heads, but I'm gonna project them onto actual 3D real life pumpkins so we can have some cool singing faces. So stay tuned for part four. And as always, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween.